Thank you. Our comfort, I will say thank you. Everlasting Father, we magnify your holy name. For being there for us, we say thank you. For not forsaking us, we say thank you. Omnipotent and omnipresent God, we say thank you. The lily of the valley, we say thank you. The over jarry, we say thank you. The over sikeno, we say thank you. Hell shadow, we say thank you. The mighty man in battle, we say thank you. Father, we magnify your holy name. Thank you, Father, for the answer prayer. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. And amen. I greet you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. My name is G.A. David from Canada. In the book of John 14, 16 to 18, John 14, 16 to 18, and I will pray the Father. And he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it sees, because it seeth in, it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you i will not leave you i will not leave you comfortless hallelujah i take it again 16 john 14 16 to 18 and i will pray the father he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not. Hallelujah. Because it, because it seeth him not. Neither knoweth him. But ye know him. For he dwelleth with you. And, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Hallelujah. This verse shall be ushering us for our today's message the comforter hallelujah in this life we need something to be comforting us we need something to be comforting us because we're in the age that satan rule you know walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom to devour and we cannot do it alone the bible says 
It's not by power, not by mind, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Hallelujah. We need comforter. We need something to be, con you know, to be comforting us. And what are we talking about? What is what can what can easily comfort us? What can what can we open our heart for to comfort us so that we can be able to you know stand and withstand the wives of the enemies? Hallelujah. The Bible says, "Be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that we may be able to stand against the wives of the enemies." Hallelujah. What are we talking in essence? We need comforter. And what is this comforter we are talking about? Hallelujah. Let's quickly move on to John 14 to 26. 20, 26. John 14, 26. 26. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall reach you and he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Hallelujah. What are we talking in essence these days? Do you open your heart for Holy Spirit? Do you open your heart for comforter? You cannot do it alone. Without the comforter, there is no how you can do it. You cannot be a Christian without the Holy Spirit. Unless you are a carnal Christian. And you know what it takes to be a carnal Christian. The Bible says to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and truth. Do you open your heart for Holy Spirit? Do you open your heart for, the, for comforter? And now, if you do not have comforter in you, you cannot do it. I am you know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a truth of the word. There is no how you can do it without the, you, without the comforter. Hallelujah. Do you open your heart for the comforter? Do you open your heart for the Holy Spirit? Or you do, or you do not know maybe you have the Holy Spirit in you or you do not know maybe you, have, you, you open your heart. And you will know if you have the Holy Spirit in you. You will definitely, you will definitely know if you, have, if you open your heart to comforter. Hallelujah. For the Bible says, I will send the comforter to you to be to be teaching you what to do at the right time. To, to, to remind you of all what I've taught you. That's what Jesus said. When you have the Holy Spirit in you, you have the word of God. You will be grounded in the word of God. You will be, you will be, you will be, you will be strong. You will be able to stand against the wives of the enemies. Hallelujah. Anyone that, you know, that does not have the Holy Spirit in, in him or her can be easily attacked by devil, can be easily attacked by demon, can be easily attacked by any foul spirit. Hallelujah. Do you have comforter? Do you, do you, do you give chance in, in your heart for the spirit, for the Holy Spirit, for the comforter? How will you know? When you have issue, when there's any, when there's any trials, when there's any difficulties, you will, not, you will know because the Spirit of God will be speaking to you through your heart. You will know because the, the comforter will be putting you through. You will know because it will, guide you, it will be guiding you. You will know because it will not let you go where you are not supposed to go. Hallelujah. There was, there was, there was some, 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 day, some, some months ago, uh, early this year, there was an issue that, that, you know, that arose. You know, it, it came very in a very huge situation. You know, when it first came, you know, I I I saw it. You know, I I said, "Wow, this is so. This is this is this is just satanic plan." You know, I was like, I was I was a bit to overwhelm. But you know, when I got home, I sat down, I opened my heart. The spirit of God came and told me everything and said, "You and comforted me." And I was, you know, I was relieved. Hallelujah. I was relieved. But, you know, if you do not allow Holy Spirit in your, in your life, in your heart, you know, depression will come. And that is what Satan wants. Depression will come. That's why you see a lot of people, you know, with, the, you know, with little things, they will, they, will, they will start thinking. Depression will come after depression, you know. Before you know it, you will hear that they have committed suicide. 
you will now be wondering, hallelujah, that what has happened to this person that could have led him or her to commit suicide, that this is just little thing that one can easily overcome, hallelujah. But it's, it's not, it's, it's just because such person never allowed the Spirit of God in his in or her life. It's just because that such person never allowed the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, in his or her life. That's why we are sharing, opening our eyes today to let to to check your life, to check yourself. If you if you allow Holy Spirit, the Comforter, in your life, you will know when you have situation when situation uh, when situation arises, the Holy Spirit will talk to you tell you how to go about it, how to handle it. Hallelujah. You will know when you have the Spirit of God in you, when you have comfort in you, when the situation comes, it will not overwhelm you. You will know when the situation arises, the, only, the Spirit of God, the Comforter will guide you, will teach you what to do, how to handle it, how to speak, how to talk. Hallelujah. I told you something on this on this medium sometimes ago. You know, I, I there was an issue between, you know, something, you know, somebody was you know, um, you know, wanted to brought a, a kind of issue. You know, when the issue came, I discovered is a something. You know, is a kind of issue which I could not handle myself alone because I was I, I never wanted to get escalated because you know I I, I as as a, as a, as so for somebody like me I was like see how I how I can how I can undo the situation. Peacefully, but I discovered that the situation has been to the extreme, which I need the power of God to, to the, the, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of God to put me through. And I opened my heart. I talked to God. Within a short period of time, God told me what to do. And when I came out with the with the when I came out with um in how to handle the situation, the person that the person in charge was very was very very uh was it was very the, the person was very amazed of the situation and i thank god and the, the, the spirit of god spoke to me and told me how to handle it and it went, went on successfully it went on peacefully as i wanted but i i cannot do it alone if not the power of holy spirit i cannot do it alone if not the power if if not the comforter that's what i'm saying today that we in 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 opening each other you know in opening everyone's eyes that we should allow holy spirit in our heart do you have holy spirit in your life do you have comforter in your life the comforter when, God, when, Jesus, when our Lord Jesus Christ promised us comforter, he knows that, he knows that Satan is a very subtle being. He, he knows that Satan can easily manipulate into the life of mankind. He knows that, you know, if not, he knows that if he did not send the comforter, the, 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 Satan will arrest the dominion again. He knows that the, 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 the dominion that our 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 father Adams has sold to Satan. He knows that if if he did not send the comforter, this Satan will come again. You know, in 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 a, in a, in a very in a very you know that he has very different tactics to come into the life of mankind in a very tricky way. Our Lord Jesus Christ knows that he. The, that the Satan is a subtle being that he could easily manipulate the life of, life of mankind to be able to get the dominion back. That was why he promised that he, he was going to send comforter to us. He said, he said to his disciples, he said, Tari ye. He said, what, what does that mean? He said, Tari ye. Wait, do not move, do not go to anywhere until you receive the comforter, the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Why did Jesus said, commanded his disciples to tarry in Jerusalem? Jesus said, tarry ye. Do not move, do not go to anywhere. Tarry, that means stay. Wait, do not go to anywhere. Wait, tarry ye in Jerusalem. Do not move until you receive the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Hallelujah. Because he knows there is no, you know, he knows that no matter how training you, you have gotten, you, you, you have got, you, 
you have gone to Bible school, you have gone, you, 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 you have been granted, but you do not allow Holy Spirit. Trust me, Satan is a very subtle being. He has tricky ways of entering into the life of mankind, manipulating mankind. Hallelujah. So that, that's why, that was why our Lord Jesus Christ said the disciples should tarry until they receive the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Now we cannot do it alone. Our Lord Jesus Christ knows that we cannot do it without the Comforter. We cannot do it without Holy Spirit. That was why he sent the Holy Spirit. And do you, do you have the Holy Spirit in your life? You may know, you can know. You know, you can know and you will know. If you have Holy Spirit in your life, you will know. If you do not have, you will know. Let me, let me, let, let me open your eyes to this. If you have committed sin, even maybe you lied on something, if you have Holy Spirit in you, 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 know, you will have the guilty conscience. You know, you, the something in you will be telling you that you, what you have just done is not right. Or what you have done was not right. Something in you will be telling you that what you just did to somebody was not right. What you are doing right now is not right. Hallelujah. So when you have the Spirit of God in you, you will know. That's, that's just the first thing. If you, if, if you are a kind of Christian... And I never, I never, I don't want anyone to be carnal Christian. Hallelujah. Do you know what it does? The Bible says to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Hallelujah. When you have the, com when you are, yeah, when you have the comforter, when you have the Holy Spirit, you will receive permanent joy, permanent peace of heart. The Bible says, at, at God's presence are fullness of joy, at his right hand are pleasure forevermore. Hallelujah. When you have Holy Spirit in you, you will know. Someone is, who is committing sin every day, every time, you know, and nothing in him or her has ever challenged him or her, or has ever talked to him or her that what she, is, what she or what he is doing it's not right. That means such person do not have Holy Spirit. I wonder some people will be saying, I have Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God told me this. The Spirit of God told me that. But what, what you see, when they have done something, you will now be wondering that how can somebody like, you know, how can, how can somebody who is spirit filled be doing this kind of things? Hallelujah. Some people will say they are born again Christian. They are child of God. They are born born again Christian, but yet you yet you see you know seeing them doing a lot of things, a lot of wrong things without any guilty conscience, without any you know without any without reluctant you, you know they will be doing it without being reluctant, without showing any remorse. Hallelujah! When you have the Spirit of God in you, you will know. When you have comfort in you, you you will know because. When you have done wrong things, you will know in you, it will be talking to you that what you just did is not my plan, it's not accordant with my will for you. What, what you just did was wrong. What you are doing right now is wrong. Do this, don't do this. Hallelujah. But, but when, you, when, when you have it, in, when you have the comforter, you have the spirit of God in you, if you have committed any sin, immediately you will know for the, for the spirit will tell you. In immediately and you have every right to, to talk to God to beg God for forgiveness and amend your way hallelujah so we are I'm, 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 I'm saying it today to opening everyone's eyes to the to the power in the in, in the in, 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 in the Holy Spirit the power of Holy Spirit the power of comfort of comforter do you have do you allow comforter in your life do you have allow holy spirit in your life when you have the comforter when you have holy spirit in your life he will be guiding you he will be monitoring your footsteps where you are not supposed to go he will not let you go there have you ever have you ever one day dressed up taking you taking your breakfast 
told your wife or your husband that you are going to so so, -so place, and all of a sudden you just change the plan. Hallelujah. Have you ever been driving and sometimes you just park without nothing? All of a sudden you just park, probably you just thank God or you do something, and immediately, you know, you just start and start going again. Have you ever been outside and, you know, claiming that you are supposed to go back home at 9 p.m. and all of a sudden, you just decide and leave the place wherever you are and start going home without the, without the appropriate time that you expected of going home? Have you ever been looking at someone and decide to talk to that person and pray with that person? Have you ever had somebody's feeling in your heart Thinking, looking at somebody or thinking of somebody and start praying for him or her. This, I'm giving this illustration on how the Holy Spirit works. On how the, the, Holy, the, 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 the Spirit of God works in human. The, how, and on how the Holy Spirit works in mankind. That's why I'm saying if you have the Spirit of God in you, you will know. That's why I say if you do not have the Spirit of God in you, you will know. But what I really want is the Spirit of God in you. That's the, that's, the, that's the main purpose of preaching the gospel. So that you can be safe. So that you can be safe. For to be spiritually minded is life and peace. For to be spiritually minded is life and peace. But to be carnally minded is death. You will be never dead in the mighty name of Jesus. We will not be dead in Jesus' mighty name. Spiritually, we will not die. Spiritually, we will not die. Spiritually, our spiritual life will not die. We will not be dead in the mighty name of Jesus. We, you, you know, it's very, is 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 very, is 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 a very, very important thing to be spirit filled. You know how to read Bible. You know how to. You can quote Bible from A to Z. You 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 know how to sing. You know how to do this. You know how to do that. But you are not spirit filled. It's not enough. You have to be spirit filled. You have to open your heart to the Holy Spirit. You have to open your heart so that Comforter will be there, will be comforting you, controlling your life, putting you through in everything on your daily basis. Hallelujah. Have you ever woke up and you decide to go to some? You 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 had a plan of going to market or meeting somebody, and the Spirit of God asks you not to go. You will know if you have the Spirit of God. You, have you ever decided, have you once prepared your food and you want to start eating and all of a sudden something tells you not to eat and start fasting? That's why I'm saying if you have the Spirit of God in you, you will know. If you do not have the Spirit of God in you, you will know. I pray, Almighty God, we occupy our heart with Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Almighty God, we fill us with Holy Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. You'll be filled with Holy Spirit. You'll be filled with Holy Spirit. You'll be filled with Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God will not depart from you. The Spirit of God will not depart from you. Do you know, let me quickly, before we round up today, do you know what caused problem for Saul? The Spirit of God is just laying it in my heart now. The, the, you know, I, 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 when, I, when I'm thinking of, about the issue of Saul, it really, it really amazes me and it pains me so much. Saul, Saul was, was anointed, anointed, anointed king. So do you know, if you, if you see, if you read the story of Saul very well, you will know that he was very, very anointed. Israel, he was the first king of Israel. Israelites were murmuring, shouting, telling God that they need, they need king. God told them what king will be doing to them, that king could take their wife, do this, do this to them, you know, you know. God told them what king does. But yet they said they need king. 
And God now look that woman can he make, you know, make the king God choose Saul. If you read the, if you read the story very well, you know, you see how Saul, God has taught Samuel, whom is going to anoint as king. Samuel never knew where Saul was. And, you know, a sheep, a sheep of Saul, Saul's father got lost. And they were looking for it everywhere. You know, fortunately, God has talked to Samuel, whom he was going to anoint as the king as the first king of Israel. I want us to see how, how, how great, how, how anointed Saul was. You know, things of God is not just ordinary. God orchestrates in things in a very perfect way. Now, when they got, it got to a certain stage when they were, they, they were unable to get the sheep that got lost. Now, the servant of the father of Saul said, Master, he was talking to Saul, that there is a prophet. Won't you, you know, won't that sound somehow to you that somebody was looking for, uh, for an animal? Now said, there is a prophet over there that could pray, you know, that could discern to know where the, where the ship is. The guy now, the, the Saul now said, okay, Let's go to the prophet. That is, you know, that is God, that is God orchestration. That is how God orchestrated it. God wanted that Saul to meet Samuel for him to be anointed. Hallelujah. But immediately they go to Saul's house. So God told the God told Saul that this is the this is the person you are going to anoint as the king of Israel, which was the first king of Israel. But do you know what, what, you know, he started well, but he, he ended badly. Hallelujah. We have, we have started well in the mighty name of Jesus. We will not end badly in the mighty name of Jesus. As we have started well, we will end well in the mighty name of Jesus. As you are hearing the sound of my voice, you will not, you will not end badly in the mighty name of Jesus. You will end well in Jesus' mighty name. He started well ended badly why how did he end badly for he lost the spirit of god in him for he lost the spirit of god hallelujah we will not leave the spirit of god in the mighty name of jesus we will not we will not lose the spirit of god in our life in the mighty name of jesus christ so what um, um, this is an opening message or uh, like an an highest opening message to open all mankind's eyes or to know the power of comforter, to know the power of Holy Spirit. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to say, give some illustration for you to know if you have the Spirit of God in you. If you have the Spirit of God in you, you will never lose it in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray for you, if your heart is empty, if, your heart, if you do not have the Spirit of God in you, I pray, I connect your heart with the Spirit of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the power and the authority of Jesus Christ, I pray, I connect your heart with the Spirit of God in, in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive the Spirit of God for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the Spirit of God. I pray the Spirit of God will be dwelling in your heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the Spirit of God. Receive Comforter. Receive Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. This is a very powerful, powerful spirit. When you have the Spirit of God in you, you are protected. You, when you have the Spirit of God in you, you will be, you'll be, you'll, you'll, you'll be guided. When you have the Spirit of God in you, you will be covered. When you have the Spirit of God in you, it will be guiding you. You will not, you, it will be teaching you even how to relate with people not to be committing grudges. He will be putting you not to be committing sin. Even though if you do not listen, sometimes you mistakenly commit sin, immediately he will talk to you. And if you, you know, and as well, you, 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 if you allow the Spirit of God and to have, you know, uh, obeying hearts, like 
very soft in heart so that you you'll be obeying him the, the spirit of god so whenever you commit any sin he will correct you and talk to you you know that you have committed sin and immediately you amend your way hallelujah for our lord jesus christ knows that we cannot do it alone that was why he sent the comforter the holy spirit the bible says it's not by power nor by mind but by my spirit says the lord do you have the spirit of god in you you can know if you do not have the spirit of god in you you can know check yourself today put yourself together sit down think if you have the spirit in you check yourself check your heart check your living system you know your your daily your daily basis life system check how you talk to the people how you relate with people how you relate with god you will know through that if you if, if, if the, the, those are the ways you will know you will definitely know you will definitely know if you have the, if you have the spirit of god if you do not have you will know but my prayer is for is that every one of us that are everybody that are watching me listening to the sound of my voice you will not lose the spirit of god in the mighty name of jesus i connect your heart with the heart of god I pray that Almighty God will take more of, more of you and give you more of him in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that Almighty God will take more of you and give you more of him in the mighty name of Jesus. I connect your heart with the heart of God. I connect your spirit with the spirit of God. I receive and bond the spirit of God for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the spirit of God. Receive anointing. Receive abundant spirit. Receive Holy Spirit. Receive comforter. Receive Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover everything that pertains to your life with the blood of Jesus. You will not seek in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not die prematurely. You will live to pronounce and proclaim the work of God in the land of the living in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pour the anointing of God upon you. You are protected. You are guided. You are anointed. You are filled of Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil, no demon, no power, no any affliction will overpower you in the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel every foul spirit in your jurisdiction, in your area, in your life, in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and I declare, by the auction upon my life, I consume every foul spirit in your life with Holy Ghost fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive blessing. Receive healing. I cancel setback in your life. I cancel hardship in your life. I cancel every demonic plan in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel affliction in your life. I cancel every spirit that is not related to the spirit of God in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Be blessed, be healed, be delivered in Jesus' name. All factors will work in your favor. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Thank you, Father. 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 Thank you, thank you, Father. As you are watching me, the Spirit of God plays it in my heart that you should be thanking Him. You should be thanking him. The Bible says God in Nabi the praises of his people. That's what the Holy Spirit that's what the Holy Spirit plays in my heart right now. Uh, the Spirit of God spoke to my heart that you should be as you are watching me, don't think of any situation you have, don't think of any circumstances you have. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, it just spoke to me that you should be thanking him in any situation. The Bible says pray without ceasing give thanks in give thanks in any situation give thanks in any circumstances for this is the will of god for us in christ jesus 
please that's what the spirit of god minister to my heart now that as you are watching me as you are hearing the sound of my voice the spirit of god said i should tell you that you should keep thanking keep thanking don't look of any don't, don't look at your situation don't look at any situation you have for when you are praising him everything that you are you know all your good our desire will be granted i believe that when you are praising god in any situation whatsoever you are in need almighty god will do it for you that's what the spirit of god told me to be to tell you that as you, as you are watching me as you are hearing the sound of my voice keep thanking him keep thanking him do not think of any situation or anything keep thanking him he knows what you are looking for he knows the situation you are he knows what is paining you in your heart he knows your pain he knows wherever you need him but he just the spirit of god just told me to tell you to be thanking him in any situation we thanks every situation will be dissolved we thanks every mountain in, 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 in your presence will be subdued we thanks anything that you are asking for will be granted hallelujah that's what the spirit of god told me to tell you and i believe you have been blessed in the mighty name of jesus christ my name is ga david from canada once again till next week that we shall be meeting stay in faith and remain blessed shalom